In this video, I want to give you kind of a quick introduction to what it looks like when you're using polynomial long division and you're using polynomials that are missing terms. So it looks like we have this quintic polynomial with four terms, but I don't have an x to the fourth term and I don't have an x squared term. So I'm going to need to accommodate for this uh, when I use my algorithm here. So my divisor, x squared minus 5, you'll notice is also missing a term. But uh, to begin, that part doesn't matter. So x squared minus 5, I'm going to put out front. And then inside here, I have, start with my x to the fifth term. And I don't have an x to the fourth term, but I need to accommodate for him. So I need to put this 0 in as a placeholder. And then my cubic term is negative 10x cubed. I don't have a quadratic term here, so the x squared, so I need to put a placeholder for him as well, so 0x squared. And then it looks like the rest of the terms are present, so I can go ahead and write them down. Okay, so the big, big thing here is that when you're writing this polynomial for this long division algorithm, you have to have a place for every single power. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the constant, even if those terms don't show up in the original polynomial. Okay, so let's get, get on with it here. So we have the x squared and the x to the fifth as far as our first terms are concerned. So what do I need to multiply by x squared to get x to the fifth? Well, it seems like x cubed, right? So let's go ahead and put that one x cubed right here and we'll line up vertically our cubic terms, so x cubed and x cubed. And then we're gonna come back through and multiply here and here, so we distribute that. So x squared times x cubed will be x to the fifth. And here's where we got to be careful. So x cubed times negative 5 is negative 5x cubed. And we actually have to come over here and put it. Okay? So let's go through and change the signs of all of our terms so I can do my addition. I'll notice that these x to the fifth terms cancel. This becomes, well, 0x to the fourth. And then we have the negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5x cubed. And I'll go ahead and bring down my 0x squared. Okay. Here's an interesting situation. We have a 0 right here. So what do I have to multiply by x squared to get 0? Well, 0, right? So, and this 0 will actually go right here, 0x squared. This part you don't necessarily have to write the placeholder for the 0, but probably it's good to do so we don't get our terms jammed up other ways. And when I come through, it's just going to zero everything out anyway. So let's go ahead and just bring down my next term then. And I can now ignore this guy. So what do I need to multiply by x squared to get this first term now, negative 5x cubed? Well, it looks like negative 5x. So let's go ahead and put that here, negative 5x. And when I distribute through, I'll have negative 5x cubed. And then, of course, it's negative 5x times negative 5, which is positive 25x, which actually goes here under the x column. All right, so running through, we're going to change these signs, so plus and minus. So these cancel. This 0x squared just kind of comes down, and then we have positive 26x minus 25x will be just x and then minus two. So then once again, what do I need to multiply by x squared to get zero x squared? Well, zero, so plus zero. And it looks like we're out of terms here, so when I go back through, I'm done with this, nothing else to bring down, so this then functions as my remainder. Okay, so yeah, it does look a little squirrely when I have missing terms and I have zeros kind of all over the place, and that's okay. So let's go ahead and write my final quotient then. I have my whole part, which is this x cubed minus 5x, and here especially there's no need to write these zeros. So our remainder then was positive x minus 2, so because it leads with this plus, I'll go ahead and write plus and then it's x minus 2 over the divisor of x squared minus 5. x squared minus 5. So here's the final quotient, what that will look like. x cubed minus 5x plus our remainder of x minus 2 over the divisor x squared minus 5. And that's what I get when I divide this quintic polynomial with four terms by this quadratic binomial.